सदा शिव समाराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा आप्यायंत मंगानी निराकरणमस्तु निराकरण मे अस्तु ब्रह्मेती हो अतितरा यदग्निर्वायुरिंद्रस्ते यदग्निर्वायुरिंद्रस्ते येनन नेदिष्टं पश्पर्शु हो येनन नेदिष्टं पश्पर्शु हो ते येनत प्रथमो विदान चकार ब्रह्मेति तस्मात्वा इंद्रहा तस्मात्वा इंद्रहा अतितरामिवा अन्यान देवान प्रथमो सो वी सा इंद्रा टू द हेल्प ऑफ उमा हईमवती हु इज द पर्सानिफिकेशन ऑफ ब्रह्म विद्या देन उमा टाट ब्रह्मा दट दिस This is Indra. That this Yaksha is none other than Brahman. Okay, so, so Brahmeti who was it? She said that this is Brahman, and all your victory, etc., is only because of this Brahman. Your very existence is because of this Brahman, and whatever glories which you are having, and all the honors which you are receiving, everything is the Brahm Brahman's alone. So then, Indra also knew this Brahman, and by knowing this Brahman, or in fact the fact that they all went very near Brahman, correct? Nidhistam, the word is used here, means going very near. Or they they went near, and pasparsho means literally touching, sparsha. Right? And here they went near Brahman and at least tried to touch. That's why they they atitaram means they are exalted or they excel. Okay, so this Indra, then Agni and Vayu, they amongst the devas they are exalted or they are they excel amongst the devas and even among them, Indra is the one who first knew this Brahman. Therefore, he is the most exalted. So the exaltation of Indra here is due to Brahma Vidya. That's what we have to understand. Although he is also Devendra, means he is the ruler of all the devas. That way also he is exalted. But here, the reason for why Indra excels is because he knew Brahman. So from all this story, we also understand even devas cannot understand this Brahman by themselves. Correct? This also has to become very clear. The devas are endowed with superior. कार्य करना संधा था करेक्ट देवता बॉडी इज वेरी पावरफुल एंड वेरी सूक्ष्म यू कैन से इट्स ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स अ पुण्य आयतनम वी कैन से करेक्ट इट इज बॉर्न आउट ऑफ पुण्य सो इवन सच एक्साल्टेड बीइंग्स 
they cannot know this Brahman by themselves. That also we have to understand first. And they also cannot know this Brahman as an object. And they have to be taught. Only after being taught by Uma that Indra himself has come to know about this. And later on, he teaches this to everyone. In fact, that's why even Yama must have received the knowledge from Indra, I think. Because Yama is the teacher in Katopanishad. The Nachiketas go to, goes to Yama Loka. In fact, it's an interesting story. His father does one yajna called Vishwadit yajna. So in that you have to give away all your wealth. Okay. But amongst whatever they had, there were some cows. Okay, the Upanishad says, Pito Dakaha, Jagdha Trinaha, Dukta Doha, Nirindriyaha. Like that, that, those are the adjectives used for the cows, which that Vajashravas was the father of Nachiketas. So Vajashravas is giving away all his wealth and he is giving away his cows also as part of that. But what kind of cows? Those cows are useless to anybody, correct? Even if you give some cow, it has to be useful to somebody. Maintaining that cow itself is costing you means that fellow is not going to consider it as a dana. But whatever Nachiketa's father was giving, <laughs> it is all what Pita Udaka means, but they cannot even drink water properly. They have already Pita Udaka means they have already drunk all the water which they are supposed to drink, means right now they are not even in a situation to drink water properly. Pita Udaka, Jagdha Trinaha means same thing. They have already eaten the grass. That means even if you give them grass, they have not been in a situation or position to eat the grass also properly. Dukta doha means all milk also is gone. There is nothing to be milked from them. And nirindriya means again, even eyes and all, they are not seeing correctly. Okay, really old cows. Means such cows he was giving because that also he had. No, Nachiketa sees that. And then thinks that if we give or like this means it is Papa. And so he goes to his father and he pesters his father. Father, father, why don't you give me? So he thinks that he can be of at least use. use of use to whoever is getting this dana rather than these cows which are all useless and it's a burden for the one who is taking them. Once he said his father ignored. Second time he said, his father again ignored. Third time his father became angry. He said, I, I will give, it, give you to Yama. So he says that. Once he said that, then Achiketas thinks that I have to now fulfill the, my, so it is like Ramayana only, correct? I have to fulfill the, my walk of my father. I have to fulfill. So he goes to Yamaloka. That is the story. Then when he goes there, Yama is not there. <laughs> So he waits there without any food and all that for three days. <coughs> then Yama comes back and then gives him three boons. In that one of the boon he asks, is this Atma Vidya? Even that question what he asks is whether any Atma, is there any Pratyek Atma which surveys this depth of the body and all that. That is how he frames the question. Then initially Yama says, no, no, this is too difficult even for Devas to know. So why do you want to know all this? I will give you some chariots and nice dancing girls and all that. Why don't you enjoy? Then he says, Tavaiva Vahaha Tavan Ritya Gite. So you can keep your own all this Vahanam and all this dance and singing and girls and all that. You can keep it yourself. I only want to know this. So that shows his whatever the Vairagya and Viveka. So that's how the Katopanishad teaching starts then. But what I am saying is even there Yama is the teacher. But again Yama also must have known this from Indra we are to assume. <laughs> Indra learnt already in the Kena Upanishad. And he would have taught the other Devas. Or Yama learned it from somewhere. There may be some Purana story also we don't know. But even Devas themselves have to be taught this. Then only you can know this. So why again I am repeating this is because there is a there is a total misconception that somehow Guru is not necessary. Our Guru can be something inanimate and all that. Okay, or from, from something you learn something. This subject matter itself is very subtle. Even if the Guru answers your question <coughs> ten times, 
11th time also you will ask the same question. Nothing wrong, but that's how it happens, correct? It's not that we are saying that some of the students are not good enough or anything, but the sub subject matter is like that. So you may be asking the same question even after 10 years and the Guru will still answer because the Guru also knows that the subject matter is like that. So for such a thing without a Guru and all it is not at all possible for normal people understand that we are all normal human beings. Even the Devatas require a Guru that is coming out here very clearly. So without Guru and Shastra this knowledge you cannot stumble upon also yourself understand that because you are the one who is stumbling. <laughs> the no one cannot stumble upon his own Swarupa. The very act of knowing makes you look for some object of knowledge means that there only you are hidden already. Is that clear? You are not going to stumble upon yourself also. Mahavakyam Katavit Tattu Masi. No. Katopanishad has many, many. Tattu Masi is in Chandogya Upanishad, this is Samadev. Katopanishad is in Ejur Veda. So, anyway, so here, continuing, so here what happens is, the Upanishad is finally giving a couple of more analogies to show that why this Brahman cannot be known as an object. <coughs> so Brahman cannot be known as an object, but still it has to be known and it has to be known as yourself alone, as Pratyagatma, which again transcends the knower, known and means of knowledge, all these divisions. So here, uh, okay. Tasyesha Adesha Yedetad Vidyutaha Vidyutada Iti Vidyutada Iti Vidyutada So that is Pluta Vidyutada Three, three Matras So there is a Hraswa means one matra, Dirdha means two matras, then there is sometimes Pluta is there. So even Pluta means even for selling something, correct? People just don't say buttermilk. So they say, or even in the court, in the pla railway platform, right? Somebody is selling tea, means they just don't dare say tea, correct? Tea, you have to say. Then only it catches the attention. In fact, in the Paninya Sutra also, it is said Takram, like that the lady is selling buttermilk. In, in those days, buttermilk they are selling. Takram, Takram means buttermilk. So for that also, Pluta you have to use. Takram, or this Pluta can come in different meanings. Okay, Here it is coming in the meaning of like or eva. It can come in the meaning of question also. If you take uh, Taitriya Upanishad, uh, Uta Vitva Namul Lokam Pretya Kaschana Gachati means Kaschana Gachati that's a question there but that question is further reinforced by the Pluta Kaschana Gachati Aho Vidwana Mullo Kampretya Kaschit Samashtuta there also So Kamayata like that it goes so that Kaschit Samashtuta also you have to have Pluta is there so anyway so this here, okay. Yes. Vedyutada iti Yamima Yami Mishada iti Iti Adi Daivatam So finally the Upanishad is giving Adeshaha Tasya Yadesh Tasya Yesha Adesha. This is the teaching. With regard, Tasya means with regards to that Brahman. <coughs> Finally, it is giving this teaching. What is this teaching? Two things it is saying. Yad Yeta, Yad Brahman, which is this Brahman under discussion now, or whatever is going to be revealed. What? It is Vidyutaha, Vidyutada. So here the Pluta is Eva, I said. Vidyut means lightning. So Vidyutada means it is like a flash of lightning. Vidyut. So, Vidyutaha, Vidyutada means like a flash of lightning. So, why this Brahman is said as like a flash of lightning? Because even in this case, the Yaksha appeared. But when Indra went to objectify, of 
course, he can see the Yaksha. But that Yaksha itself is not Brahma Swarupam. Yaksha can be taken as Ishwara Avatara, like I said correctly. It is a Saguna. It is, there is a certain Rupa and all that, okay, you can see. But once he tried to know the Swarupa of that, uh, whatever Yaksha, Saguna Yaksha, it vanished. <laughs> Because it cannot be objectified, it is like a lightning only, right? Lightning cannot be, lightning is momentary. It flashes, in fact, while it is flashing also, you cannot see it. If you see the lightning means, you may lose your eyesight, correct? That's why they, uh, they generally caution you on some thunderstorm days and all that, that don't look at the lightning with your naked eyes, or even sometimes there are radiations and all that. Correct. Even the eclipse and all that, many times they don't, like solar eclipse and all, they don't uh, ask you to see with your naked eye. It's not easy or it's not advisable. You can lose your sight. So this Brahman Swarupa is like this lightning means what? It cannot be seen, means it cannot be objectified again. And even if you try to see what will happen, let us say you try to see the lightning what will happen, your eyes will close automatically, correct? Because your eyes do not wait for your thought and all that mind to become active, it is instinctive. Certain things are instinctive reactions happen in our body, correct? It's not waiting for your will or anything. If you try to see or if you put your hand on some hard surface, you just reflex action is there, correct? You remove it. You are not thinking, okay, should I remove it or not? What is the temperature? It is 65 degrees or 100 degrees. There is no, there are no vichara or anything, analysis there. It is instinctual because that's how it is. The survival instinct and certain things are, uh, basically it's not even subjected to your will, correct? Those are all, there is autonomous nervous system and all that. Okay, so the... the the body will take certain action like that. If you try to look at the lightning also, when the lightning flashes, you cannot look at it, your eyes will close automatically. Now that is what is said next year. See? So Nyami Mishada Idhyadhidaiyatam. So iti nyami mishada means what? Your eyes will first it is for that first teaching is a Brahman is like lightning. There are two teachings here. Yesha Adesha it has said. The first teaching says that Brahman is like lightning, means it cannot be objectified. But then there are many Brihaspatis, right? Okay, what if I objectify? What if I try to objectify means you cannot. Even if you try, you will fail. How you will fail? Like your eyes close, correct? That is the Ni Mishada means what? The eyes blink or eyes just automatically close. That means, that is the energy here. That means Brahman cannot be objectified and known. And it is true for even the Devata. So up to this, whatever was said, see, iti adhi daivatam. So the teaching with reference to the Devatas, it is over. The Devata story is over with this. It started in the third Kanda. And then, this is where that story ends with reference to the Devatas also. This is what it is. Brahman cannot be known as an object even by Devatas. And they also have to know it as their Pratyagatma only. And they have to be taught. And that's how this whole knowledge is. Okay, now, what about us, human beings? <laughs> Means now the Upanishad continues further. Okay? So we see, Atha Dhyatmam. Yad eta gachati va, cha mano nena, cha eta upasmarati, adhikshnam sankalpa. So now, with reference to the devatas, it is over adhyatmam. Now, atha thereafter. Adhya, sorry, Atha Adhyatmam. So thereafter, it, now with reference to oneself. And what is this? Yad Yetha is again that which is this Brahman, which is under discussion. Okay? That Brahman which was talked about in the Devata story is now again being talked about now also. So this Yad Yetha, the Tad Yetha, the now is very common usage in the Shastra. Okay, That which was discussed 
is now also being discussed. discussed. Right now also, this is it is the same subject matter right. that Brahman Gachati Eva. Okay, Manaha. So the mind, as though goes near this Brahman, it seems. It is like the Agni and Vayu and Indra also try to go yes. near this Brahman, correct? Same thing. So why it is said? Because, like I told you, all our lives we have only known things by objectifying it through our mind, correct? At the end of the day, every whether it is sense perception or inference or any other means of knowledge that creates a certain vritti in your mind, that mind, the vritti in the mind is then lighted up by the Sakshi Chaitanya, correct? The witness consciousness, that's how knowledge takes place. So, any object mind creates a vritti and takes the form of that object and then knowledge takes place. That's how it works. Now I say Brahma Vidya, you have to know Brahma. So even here the important thing is what? Brahman, the existence of Brahman or Atman need not be uh, revealed by the Shruti. The Atman is there already. Okay, The existence of Atman is known. In fact, it has to be known even for you to become a samsari. Why? It is like, let us say there is a rope there, correct? Now, if it is pitch dark, rope itself is not visible. Then you cannot see any snake or anything, correct? Rope snake and all is not possible. So, when does rope snake perception happen? Only when the rope is visible as something is there, but you don't know the Vishesha Jnanam is not there. Correct? Samanya Jnanam has to be there. That something is there. The existence of that has to be known. But Vishesha Jnanam that this is rope is not there. Then what happens? That Ajnanam itself can project. Then there is a certain Avarana with reference to the Vishesha, Vishesha aspect of that. Samanyataha you have to know still. Samanyataha means what in general I have to know that something is there and some form of that also you know but it's, you still don't know what it is. Once you don't know what it is that avarnam is there covering of what it is you don't know. Then what vikshepa, whatever fear or whatever memory anything everything else is now getting superimposed there. And you see it as perception only, correct? It is this snake only you are seeing. The experience is that this is snake. So that is what we call Adhyasa. Same here. You know Atma exists. I am. Nobody has to come and or you don't even have to use any Pramana. This point we have already discussed a lot. I am is already established even before you use any Pramana. So, the existence of Atma has to be known that way. But it is not known that this Atma is Satyam Jnanam Anantam Brahma. That knowledge is hidden. That is the Avarana. Once that Avarana is there, what? Aham Samsari. <laughs> because then the projection is what? I am only confined to this body mind sense complex. I am a Dehi. I have this Deha. And then all the Deya's problems are my problem. Devas. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you okay, so you live within your Deha. Puram. Okay, Navadware, Pure Dehi. But in reality, Naiva Purvan Nakare, you are sitting there without doing anything only. But you think I am the doer. So you superimpose your identity on the body, but. The Guna Guneshu Vartante, Bhagavan also says. Really all activities are happening because Gunas are interacting with each other. But then you, you put your I into that means now you become I, I am doing, I am enjoying all these things, Adhyasa. So for Adhyasa there has to be, the Adhara Jnanam has to be there, the locus, where, wherever the Adhyasa happens. The Samanya Jnana, jnana of the Adhara has to be there. Here, rope is there means something is there here. That Samanya Jnanam, the Adhara Jnanam we say. That is what? The Adhara Sattvam otherwise. The existence of a locus, you have to know first. But you don't know what is that. Then what Adhyasa happens. That's all is enough. There is no other condition required for Adhyasa to happen. That you have to know a locus 
in general without knowing the the details and all that or without mm-hmm. knowing it properly then the adhyasa happens then what do you do then adhishthana jnanam has to happen what is the adhishthana jnanam this is the row right you have to know specifically what is the locus that is what is called adhishthana jnanam okay because adhishthana jnanam is the one which removes the adhyaro whatever is adhyaro pita that whatever is super imposed is removed by what by only knowing the adhishthana or whatever is there really on the locus correct that is above that so yeah so there is a here in this case the adhara is there the atma is the adhara for everything correct atma is the locus but atma is not known as satyam jnanam anantam brahma that is the adhishthana jnanam we have to say if that is not there what is the adhyaropa aham samsari aham karta bhukta so i am the doer enjoyer i am the one limited individual who is leading a life of becoming this is the reality this is what happens this is the superimposition so this adhishthana jnanam i have to gain then but how do i gain means as soon as i say this your mind wants to go near the brahman <laughs> i say satyam jnanam anantam brahma means even then we want to know this brahman as some object only even i say no no it is your pratyekatma it is the atma which is shrotrasya shrotram manasaha manaha all that i can say but even then what mind is trying to go near this brahman and trying to objectify gachati eva it is said that's why manaha but that is okay that's how it can be but in this case how this jnanam then takes place means this also there is a manovritti is involved we say because again brahman also has to be known as the content of each and every cognition i said correct that also is a manovritti only that my that jnanam also has to take place only in the mind that's why the shruti itself here it is saying manaha gachati so again all this modern confusion is there you have to go beyond the mind i don't know what you will do going who is going beyond the mind and where is this beyond the mind and all nobody defines correctly okay they just tell you that if you ask any more question sit and meditate that's all they can tell you correct you sit and meditate somehow you will go beyond the mind nobody is able to tell anything properly but the shastra is very clear <coughs> shastra says manasa eva anudrashtavyam मनसा एव इदम आप्तव्यम लाइक दैट एंड हियर आल्सो मनः सो गच्छति इव इट हैज टू गो नियर दिस ब्रह्मन मींस इट हैज टू गेन दिस वृत्ति वृत्ति ज्ञानम अलोन गिव्स यू मोक्षा वृत्ति ज्ञानम डिस्ट्रॉयज द आत्मा ज्ञानम वी से आत्मा एग्जिस्ट इज ऑलरेडी नोन बट नाउ यू हैव टू नो दिस आत्मा इज सत्य ज्ञानम अनंतम ब्रह्म दैट इज अ वृत्ति ज्ञान but normally whenever any gnanam happens correct like part knowledge some terminology is also i am introducing so that you are aware of even if you read something so when we say knowledge takes place already i have defined i have ex- explained to you some idea right that the mind goes out through the senses takes the form of the object that is called the manovritti so that is also called vritti vyapti technically it is called vritti vyapti means what the mind is able to take the form of the object itself is called vritti vyapti then you say that i know this correct this is part i know this is part i know this as part or whatever so i know this is there i know this as an object happens both are happening at the same time but the vritti vyapti the other thing is the i know part or the way you you are connected to this vritti correct as a knower as a knower how you relate to the knowledge that is called phala vyapti because the phala is what the phala means what is the result of the manovritti is that i know this is part is fine but there is also i know this is part so it is my knowledge that is the result so i know this as an object is called phala vyapti the mind taking the form of the object is called vritti vyapti okay. and again all knowledge is we we call it is as 
Vastu Tantram also. See, this is also another aspect of knowledge, all of you should be clear, is that knowledge is not dependent on your free will or anything. Is that clear? <laughs> it is not. It is, your free will has got nothing to do with Jnana. Karma is Purusha Tantram we say. Means karma is subjected to your free will. So if I say raise your hands, means nobody raised your hand. <laughs> means you have the free will to raise, not raise or you just do like this. Instead of this you do this. It's up to you. Kartum Shakyate, Akartum Shakyate, Anyathava Kartum Shakyate we say. So you can raise your hand. It is like Shruti. See, this is why the Purva Vimamsaka's argument is funny. He says, since the Shruti has a vidhi, correct? It is mandating, everybody has to do them. Then Shankara says, no, no, that is all. Shruti can mandate. But that doesn't mean that the vidhi, vidhi is there, I agree. But that doesn't automatically make the people do or anything. That is still only, that is where the Purusha is still there, correct? You have your your will is there, you have a choice of doing it, not doing it, doing it differently and all that. That is there with reference to karma. But once jnana means we say it is vastu tantram. Why? Because if I show you this, you have to know this only as a mobile phone. Or if I show you this, you have to know this only as a flower, correct? Since you like apple, you cannot say this is apple. It is not subjected to your likes or dislikes or it is not subjected to your will also. Once a means of knowledge operates and once the object of knowledge also is available and once the pramata, your mind also is in alignment, correct? Once the mind, which is the pramata normally, the object of knowledge and eyes or whatever may be the means of knowledge are aligned, knowledge will take place. Is that clear? Knowledge takes place. Your mind, uh, your free will, nothing. Of course, if your mind is agitated and it is not backing up, means that alignment itself is not there. But what I am saying is, you have a, uh, whatever, a mind which is calm or which is available. A mind which is available for cognition. <coughs> and then the mind and the means of knowledge, whatever it may be, any sense organ or even Anuman also takes place in the mind and then so some vritti has happened in the mind. It is backed up by the mind which is available. Means knowledge will take place. Knowledge has to take place. That is why even it is true even in this case. Correct? When the teacher is teaching you in the class, the Shastra is revealing your true nature and your mind is available. Shastra being a valid means of knowledge, knowledge takes place. Knowledge will take place. <coughs> there is no doubt about that. That's how it is. In fact, Shankara himself says this in one place. Ananya prokte gatiratra nasti. Like that one vakya is there in the Kathopanishad. It's a beautiful vakya. So ananya prokte means what? Ananyaha here is the guru. The one who has the vision of not being separate from Brahman. Ananya. Ananya word comes even in Gita also, correct? Ananyas chintayanto maam ye jana paryu pasate te sham nitya bhi uktanam yoga kshemam vahamyam L.I.C. picked up this yoga kshemam vahamyam from here. Yeah, it's Gita. L.I.C. picked it up. Yoga kshemam vahamyam ananyas chintayanto maam So you have to keep thinking about L.I.C. Then L.I.C. will give you yoga kshemam. Ananyan speech. Ananya means, that's what, Ananya, what is the meaning? <laughs> Anya means somebody other than you. Anya. Huh? No. So one meaning which normally, I think those who are like Upasakas or some people say is what, if you think about anything else other than Krishna, then it is Anya Chintana, correct? But if you only keep thinking about Krishna, that means your mind cannot move anywhere, I think. <coughs> Then Krishna will come and give you yoga. Yoga, yoga means what? Here. Yoga means anything you gain is called yoga. That's how you, you use in Tamil also. Yoga. Correct? Now, Periya Yoga is in the Purana, Raja Yoga and all that we use even in astrology. Correct? Yoga means being united with something. If you gain something, you are united mm -hmm. with it. Correct? So, yoga also is used in the context, in the, in the meaning of gaining something <coughs> or being united with 
whatever you want is called yoga. And then kshema means what? Maintaining it, which is the more difficult part. Okay. <laughs> so, so once you are united, why? Because viyogantaha sayyoga. So sayyoga, all union is subjected to disunion. Okay, even workers' union also is the same thing, I think. Anyway, so any union means you have to, any engagement means finally you have to disengage. Anyway, so here, Yoga and Shema, Bhagavan says, I will take care of you. If you, but is it really that you are always thinking about only Krishna? Is it even possible? Practically means that is not possible. Then what is this Ananyas, Ananyas Chintana means? You have, you have to know that Krishna is not other than you, correct? Krishna is not an Anyaha. If you take Krishna as Anyaha, then same problem, Neda Medidam Upasate, Asau Anyaha. Correct? If you think Asau Anyaha and then do Upasana, what Brother Nika says, Nasa Veda, you do not know. That is the Avidya Sutram, it is called. So, Anyaha, Krishnaha, Iti, you cannot, you cannot have any Chintanam. Krishnaha, Ananyaha. Krishna is not separate from me. So, such a bhakta, for them what? I will take care of them. Krishna is giving you an assurance there also, right? Not only like, Krishna gives both assurance. See, that is the beauty. In this life also, he says, Yoga Kshemam, Vaham Yaham. But let us say you did not appreciate this vision fully. Yoga Prashtaha means what? He says, don't worry. Nahi Kalyanakrit Kaschit Durgatim Tata Gachati. Kalyanakrit means, here he means this yogi one. One who has already become a karma yogi, who is a mumukshu. That person is a Kalyanakrit. He has already come into the, he has already done something auspicious. Okay. He can never go to Durgati. There is no Durgati for that person. <coughs> So either he will go to some loka and ushit, uh, shashwati hi, ushitva shashwati sama he says. There he lives for a long time enjoying in some good loka. Or athava yogina meva kule bhavati dhimatam. All this he says. Anyway, so the idea is what? That Bhagavan takes care of you whether here or hereafter. But for that you have to keep Bhagavan near you. Then how near you can keep Bhagavan means the nearest is yourself, correct? Right? There is nothing other than, nearer than being yourself. So here also mind is going near this, this Brahman, okay? But then what happens? Mind, mind cannot know it as object anyway, but that is fine. But Shastra, can, Shastra still reveals this Brahman is Atman. That vritti has to happen in the mind only again, correct? That vritti has to happen in the mind. But for that, after that vritti happens, there cannot be I know Brahman like that. Why? Because Brahman is not an object. So that's why what we say is, in this case there is vritti vyapati because Shastra, when you hear the Shastra from the Guru, there is a vritti that aham samsari is replaced by Aham Brahma, Aham Satyam Jnanam Anantam, Aham Brahmasmi is the, is the Jnanam, correct? And the Phala is what? Aham Sarva Bhutantaratma, I am the Atma of all the beings. That is the Phala. Upanishad itself says immediately, even in that Aham Brahmasmi portion in Vridharmeka, the Jnanam Phalam is what? Immediately what? Aham Sarva Bhutantaratma. I, I am the Atma, or I become a, all the beings, in fact, to sit like that. Brahma, Brahma with Brahma eva Bhavati. So, <coughs> this, how can you know and immediately become that means? It is only possible if it is, the separation itself is brought about only by ignorance, correct? That is why this whole accomplishment is called accomplishing the accomplished, correct? Accomplishing the unaccomplished means you have to do something about it. But already I have, I keep my specs like this. Now I want to see something. I want to read Kano Upanishad. Even now I am not able to read. Eyesight has become quite bad anyway. So, 
So, but then what? I forget that I have put my specs here, means I am searching all over. The very act of searching will make me, I never, it will imply that I never find the specs on my end. Till the time I am searching, I will never find the specs. That is the irony here, or whatever, the catch 22, correct? As long as you are the searcher, you cannot find the search because the difference between what is searched and whoever is searching is ignorance. Because in reality, I already have the specs. I am the one with the specs, but I am searching for that also. That is the that is the lot of samsari, correct? You are already the that Brahman alone. You are already muktaha. You are already shuddha. You are not subjected to any karma or anything. You are not even a karta bhukta. That is your reality. But you are also searching for that only. Because you heard Guru is saying you are you are already you are Brahman. So you are now searching Brahman means searching Brahman means you will never find it. But that Brahman is yourself. So that Ajnanam alone has to go. And again is asking if you are the searcher, you will never find it. But somebody else can easily tell, correct? Hey idiot, you have you have it only on your forehead. So you are already the one with the glasses. Means this is called accomplishing the accomplished. So the Siddha itself becomes Sadhya only because of Ajnanam or Adhyasa. Right? That's why Bhashikara first writes the Adhyasa Bhashya. In the Brahma Sutra Bhashya, why does he write the Adhyasa Bhashya? Only due to Adhyasa, the Siddha becomes Sadhya. Sadhya means what? Something to be accomplished. But already it is accomplished. But due to Adhyasa, it has become unaccomplished means it has to be then accomplished. Something which has to be accomplished. Then for that Shastra Pravritti, Athato, Brahma Jignasa, then only the Brahma Jignasa itself is possible. And then for that Shastra Pravritti, you have to read the Shastra analyze it, understand it, then what again? You are gaining whatever you are already. What is this? <laughs> it's already there. That's all you are doing, nothing else. So you don't have to do anything really speaking, correct? But still, even when you gain this knowledge, what? Shravanam. So we say, Sakshat Jnana Karanam is what? It is said in the Vrita Neka and it is said, what? Atma Va Are Drashtavya Shotavya, Mantavya, Vidhya, Sitavya. So you have to listen about this Atma. But after listening, then you, after listening what? Shravana means you, you get what is called as Tatparya Nishchayam. Correct? So you know what the Shastra is teaching from Shravana. But then what? But still, how can I be Brahman? I am this. Puny fellow, just occupying this body mind sense complex. I cannot even lift to one rock or whatever. But I am being said that you are now Jagat Karnam, Brahma, Sarva Shakti, Man. All this equation is there. How is this possible? Means there is always Samshaya is there. So now you have to clarify that. So that's why Mananam. So mananam means you use upapatti also for manam, all kinds of supporting logic. Logic by itself cannot do anything, understand that. We say shruti sammata tarka means logic always requires a basis. Either the basis should be pratyaksha. That is the normal inference which people are talking. Scientific people are all talking about inference means they are basing it on either normal perception or enhanced perception using telescope, microscope and all that. But in our case, we are not only restricted to perception, we can also use logic based on what Shruti is revealing. Because for us, Shruti also is a valid means of knowledge. So that is what is called Shruti Sammata Tarka. So the Vyapti can come from Shruti itself for us. Correct? And therefore, Shruti Sarmata Tarka we use and general Tarka also we use to show how everybody else is wrong. Two things are there. <laughs> One is we use supporting logic to assimilate whatever the Shruti is revealing. That is also Mananam. The other is every other contention other than whatever Shruti is revealing, revealing 
all that is shown as illogical. Whatever is illogical means it has been negated by or refuted by logic. So that is all part of, that is what some more study is involved in all that. Okay, till all your doubts are gone, fine. Now you have, that is called Sandeham Tedida in Tamil, correct? Reinforcement learning. Yeah. Even then what? Sandeham This knowledge is only weak. It is not Balavat. Because Shankara himself says that, even after gaining this knowledge, what? Prarabdha is Balavat, he says. Because... The Prarabdha Karma is unfolding. You are doing Vyavahara as a Karta Bhukta for so long that it is, that is Sahaja, correct? That is Balavat. It should not, it should not be underestimated, correct? That's why even in the, even in the Apastama Dharma Sutra also we saw the same thing, correct? Just because somebody has done Veda Adhyayanam and along with that you have done Upanishad Adhyayanam. Then you cannot say that, no, I am Jnani, no. But still what? So chami. <laughs> Still I am seeing Dukkha is there for this person means. That is because Prarabdha is Balavat. There is always habitual tendencies in spite of clear knowledge. In fact, most doctors can appreciate that they all know what is good, bad with reference to health and all that, but many times doctors themselves are very unhealthy people. Because their work culture also is like that, okay? Because they are expected to work 36 hour shifts and things like that. In that, how are they going to keep themselves healthy? <laughs> Even though they have knowledge, there is no jnana khalap, understand that. The knowledge has to be always available for you to enjoy the jnana khalam. But that knowledge is not always available. It is overpowered by your existing tendencies. <coughs> That is why Vididhyasanam also is recommended. Vidhyasana. But Shravanam alone is main for us. Shravanam is called Angi. The Manana Vidhyasana are called Angas. They, these are the limbs which lead up to whatever you have done Shravanam that has to be assimilated properly, correct? For that, Mananam and Vididhyasanam are limbs. If you are directly able to assimilate whatever during Shravanam itself, that is well and good. But that doesn't happen, okay, 99%, it doesn't happen. So, Mananidhyasanam also is there. All that is coming here, because why? So, Yetat Upasmarati is there here, correct? That Upasmarati means what? You again think about it. Or Upa means again Samite. Means that subject matter, you are again keeping it in your mind and you are whatever, like the cow eats first. Then again, there is something, cow has two stomachs, right? There is something called rumen. A rumen only, I think, right? So then it will take it back again, chewing the cut and all this, right? Uh, then again, it is. It will go to the other stomach. So the cow's um, digestive cycle is 72 hours or something, I think. It's a long cycle. So, like that, you first you listen to in the class, then, but again you have to assimilate it with supporting logic and all that. That Guru, Guru also will give you all that. The Shastra itself is using supporting logic in many places. It is giving you analogies and all that. So even after that is clear, you have to still keep on recollecting the teaching till this becomes your Sahaja. Correct? Not that Aham Samsari or Aham Karta Bhokta, but Aham Brahmasmi has to become Sahaja. Till then, so the Upasmarati can be either taken as Nididhyasana or it can be taken as uh, Mananam itself because it also says next word Upasmarati Abhikshnam Sankalpa means Abhikshnam means repeated. Keep on repeating means what your mind has to only be in this vision that Aham Brahmasmi, not that Aham Karta Bhakta, but Aham. Brahmasmi is what your mind has to be one pointed on that till the time it becomes Sahaja. Once it is Sahaja, whatever the mind may do, you are not even the mind correct. You don't have any identification with the mind, means mind can do whatever it wants. Guna, Guneshu, Bhartante. But till then, you cannot take this easily. You won't take it easily also because once this Jnanam takes over you, it is going to take over you, correct? Once there is interest, once you see the reality, 
then that is fascinating it will it will occupy your mind by itself correct right? mostly so that means that recollection has to keep on happening and then that's what is said here so this has to be done with reference to adhyatma also shravana manana didhyasana has to happen that will result in this knowledge okay all this knowledge is going to come only that is the साक्षात कारण फॉर ज्ञान एंड देन ज्ञान फलम वंस ज्ञान इज देयर मींस देयर इज नो देयर इज नो गैप बिटवीन दिस ज्ञान एंड फलम बिकॉज़ यू आर ऑलरेडी दैट दैट इज द पॉइंट हियर बट इवन दो इट इज लाइक दैट मेनी टाइम्स इट इज प्रेजेंटेड एज़ दो ज्ञान इज द साधनम एंड मोक्षा और कैवल्य व्हाट एवर यू कॉल इट करेक्ट दैट इज साध्य that is also there but anyway there is no gap between the the occurring of this knowledge and the gaining of the phala that's what we have to understand we'll see one more class we'll finish it i think hopefully om purnamada purnamidam purna purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम